hello to the Equalist Impact. So like in my recent video, I talked about how I'm going to bring about some change and do some other stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do this week. But I'm still going to start with hello to the Equalist Empire for every video of mine because I like it. So yeah, that's that. And uh, what my video this week is going to be about, I think you just probably know by the title, but it's like, uh, you know, when I was going for my Central St. Martin's interview, before that, I had not seen any any other person's portfolio, like a person who's got selected, I had not seen any of their portfolios and it was scary because I had no idea what I have, I'm up against. I saw some videos about portfolios of some other people but not so college specific, so course specific and I, I had even seen some videos about the uh, exam, the interviewers who are going to be there but still you know this thing is always there like oh my god how am I going to do it because you don't know what is there uh, and all, all different sides they give you so many different then your teacher gives you a different view and these websites give you a different view and then your counselor gives you a different view and it's all jumbled up so uh, I'm gonna show my portfolio in this video it's not exactly portfolio advice I might do that later but yeah uh, and this video is divided into three parts in the, in the first video I'm going to uh, give you a basis of what the portfolio was about and I'm going to show you not my actual portfolio but uh, my supporting material like my sketchbook and everything and uh, in the second and third video it's the proper portfolio and all the, the links to them are in the description below and on the screen right now so you can check it okay so I'm gonna start now first and foremost first and foremost you oh yeah before I say what I got into is a uh, foundation in art and design uh, and it's a diagnostic foundation and after that what I'm going to go into is more 99.99% fashion yes yeah, so uh, first and foremost you need to have a sketchbook now a sketchbook is a place if you're a person like me you're going to have a very very messy sketchbook and if someone looks at it they won't even understand what is written what is done at all but this is one thing which the examiners want to see. Okay, I'm kind of giving advice here, but whatever. Uh, because this shows your thought process. You can't just show them your final product. You have to show them what you went through and all of that. So this is just the the sketchbook and yeah, you need to have it. And it doesn't matter. Everyone's sketchbook is very different from each other. Very different. I mean, even my friends who were there in class with me, their sketchbook was just it's different but yeah and mine is extremely messy but they want to see whatever you do but at least like the first page I try to make that look like a little good this is something I done long back so I just like cut it and pasted it here and yeah if you see I don't know if you will be able to see it with the light and everything but yeah I had made uh, the base designs over here and I had written about my research work as well all the research work went here and along with that yeah I had some even here I have done a project about uh, fruits and everything so my procedure how I went through it my analysis of the fruits all of them I, I drew the fruit I wrote about it and uh, what else can I show you in this that's yeah and some basic sketches like you know at times you just want to draw but you don't know what to draw and I'm a very I'm not a patient person so I like to do quick sketches so I've just added that in a lot of places actually and yeah this is what it is I have added again the designs and all all my little notes everything you do just put it in a sketchbook no matter how dirty it is just just put it and you know later on your ideas might change like this design I changed it a lot later and whatever extra stuff I had to do I put it up here so you know it shows my work and I even did some other oops I even did some other sketch quick sketches and I needed to practice something so instead of doing it on some separate paper in the book because I, I you will see it in my later portfolio I had to do that but I put it here then this was another project I was thinking of but it turned out to be a fail though I had started with a little bit of research but I still let that I could have just 
pasted something over it but I still let that be to show that the process is there and what failed and what was there. Even the fruits project, the things that had failed which didn't work out, I wrote about them as well and why they failed. This is also, this project had a lot of research so I have all of that and uh, you know any color testing and stuff like that I have put that as well. This is whatever extra stuff about the design I wanted to write and yeah now this is very little <laughs> but that's what I can find here it's just basic uh, color testing what I wanted to do I could have done it on a random paper but whatever it is from start to end from your whole thought process put it up in the sketchbook and yeah that's that now the second thing yeah and I also suggest uh, if you're not a lazy person like me it would be really great if uh, you put a reflective journal I wanted to do that but I just always when I thought I want to do it I was like whatever so you write your reflective comments on what you felt while you were doing that particular project or making that particular design and stuff like that and yes now since I am going into fashion that in the future that was that is what I want to do um, as of now so human figure sketches are very very important to me and yeah but you know who's gonna pose for me for so long who's gonna help me out in that I need something real to draw it in front of me but you know obviously no one's gonna be there to pose for that long so I made this book it's a quick it's a quick figure sketches bro book where I had a couple of my friends from class, I'll tell you about the class later. Uh, I had a couple of my friends from class posing for me and then I had my parents posing for me and just it was random, I'll just show you a couple of pages. Just with crayon I did it and in some places I even wrote like if I knew how many roughly, how many seconds it was, I wrote that and just basically you know me capturing the form of the whole thing in as less lines and as less time possible some of them are really bad though but you know, just it teaches you about proportion and everything and the third thing which fell down earlier it is this now it says guess who wanted to be a fashion designer since they were a little kid this work is done by me from four to sixth grade now uh, in my statement of purpose also I wrote like one of the reasons why I really want to do this is it's what I have wanted to do since forever <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, my mom. She's so amazing. Whatever work I had done as a child also, she had it all preserved. And so yeah, that's that. This is just the cover. And this is nothing really great. But you know, it just shows how I was always... Yeah, I actually like staple this. Uh, how I have always been interested in fashion. This really shows that. And yeah, that's that. Just a very small book, file, whatever. And yes, this is the basis of the portfolio. It's not necessary for you to include this and if you are if you have some really old work of yours to show that how you were interested, don't stage it, don't like, this was not even outlined properly. I still didn't touch it at all. Don't but try to do this fake kind of thing at all. They'll, they'll get to know. Okay, now what I was talking about the class is that in India, uh, Edwise International, it is uh, an ed international education consultancy company so uh, they are directly affiliated with University of the Arts London and CSM is a part of it so uh, here they give you consultancy and everything for free so yeah I'll put their links and everything in the description you can contact them and LAA L -A -A, yeah. L -A -A, London Arts Academy is I don't know what exactly it is but it's, they are also affiliated to UAL so for portfolio preparation they help you out the syllabus and everything has been given to them by UAL and this course is also there in the UK and I don't know where else LAA is around the world but I know it's there in India in Mumbai specifically and yeah th that's the class I was talking about it's actually a 20 week course and I had done 8 weeks of that and yes, I want to add that for my portfolio, uh, <laughs> the worst part was that other work which I had done uh, in the past, my one and a half year work, it got lost in the auto rickshaw. So whatever work I had done, it was seven weeks work only. And that's what I even told the examiner. So yeah, that's why I don't have 
a lot of stuff which I wanted to do. But yes, that's that that class is really great because what I'll show you is actually just seven weeks work and a lot of it was done in class. So now if you want to see part two and part three of the video, the links are right here. The links are in the description as well. You can see them. Uh, one is the art portfolio section and one is a fashion portfolio section. I made two separate to show two different interests. So yes, you can click that and see them.